All right, so why is Round Rock called Round Rock? Something we're discovering is that pretty much everything in Texas is under construction. Hey, we're Mel and Jay. Together with our cat, Benny, we're traveling from Hope, B.C. all the way to South Padre Island, Texas, y'all, with lots of stops along the way. Well, we were well on our way, but uh, now they seem to have closed the highway just right ahead of us. Doesn't look like an accident, but I don't know, maybe some sort of like temporary construction closure? Eh. All you can do is sit and be patient. We don't have this trouble very often. Our site's so big, we have like so many options on like where to park. Get like two class A's on this thing, anyway. Yeah, we, we could do with a much bigger rig here, but you know, it's good to have more space and not less space. I don't know, what do you think? Here's good? Oh, this works. This is a really unique park because it's like right in the city. It's practically in the suburbs, really. It makes it really easy for us to um, go into the city and like discover what Austin has um, without having to be like an hour out, um, which is the case with a lot of other places we've been where we want to go into a city. So, mm -hmm. at least for state parks. But yeah. It's really nice. I think this one is only $24 a night with electric and water. Can't beat that. These Texas parks are turning out to be really good. We're liking them. Well, we haven't done laundry in quite a while, so we've got like three bags. But I guess that's the trouble when you don't have a laundry machine in your rig. But that's okay. Let's go do laundry. Or I'm gonna go do laundry. Jay's gonna stay here and edit our next video for you. And where else are you gonna go? Costco. <laughs> All right, have fun. Bye. See ya. We've woken up today in the McKinley Falls State Park, which is right in the middle of like a suburb in Austin. And this morning we're gonna try and find the biggest donut in Texas. We should confirm that though, because they call it a Texas sized donut, but I'm not sure if it's actually the biggest. Right in the heart of downtown Round Rock is this golden gem. Round Rock Donuts, and they have the biggest donut in Texas. Let's check it out. All right, we got ourselves a Texas sized donut. And as it turns out, there are options. You can get it um, glazed or just plain glazed. You can get it with chocolate or you can get half and half. And so we've done half and half. It's about $12, but you've got to see this. Like the whole donut is taking up this box. This box is like eight by 11 inches, probably. You ready for this? Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's the most ridiculous thing. <laughs> it looks so good. <laughs> All right, can we find somewhere to sit? All right, they're supposed to be world famous donuts. It looks pretty darn delicious. And we found a bench conveniently located right in the middle of the square. Are you ready, honey? Oh yeah. Okay, I'm gonna pick it up. <laughs> this is just easy. This is, this is as big as my head. It's bigger. I'm wondering what makes it orange. I don't know, we'll have to find out. How, how on earth are we gonna eat this? I think you should take the first bite. I think we should take a bite at the same time. <laughs> Ready? It's like Lady in the Tramp. Mmm, <laughs> that is nice. It's very fluffy mm. and soft. It's nice and fresh. Very fresh. Breakfast of champions. All right, we're not going to show you uh, us eating this entire thing. I think we put a good dent in it. So well, there's no way we can be finishing this right now. No, it's a two-stage donut. 
So that's Round Rock Donuts, right here in the heart of Round Rock, which is just north of Austin. And um, now we're going to show you around a little bit of the town. So we couldn't resist going back, <laughs> except I got cookies this time. They call them tea cakes and I'm not going to eat it now because we're full of donut. But I saw these through the window. Aren't they cute? We also found out what made the donut orange and that is egg yolks. So they use fresh whole eggs with the yolks in their donuts and it's the yolk that gives those donuts that pretty orange color. And um, that's the magic and makes them extra fluffy, I guess. All right, so why is Round Rock called Round Rock? Well, as it turns out, this area is home to a narrow area in the rivers, um, which made it really easy for cattle crossing. At the point here, there is a round rock and that was served as a marker for people who were coming through, um, who needed to cross the river. Well, there it is, the round rock, which round rock was named after. Something we're discovering is that pretty much everything in Texas is under construction, including the state capitol building. All right, so when we were looking up stuff to do in Austin, something that came up pretty frequently by more than one source was taking a tour of the state capitol building. So yes, Austin is the capital of Texas. If you didn't know that, so the tour is actually really interesting. It's free and you get to see all over the state capitol building. They tell you so much. Or definitely take the free guided tour. There is an audio tour, but come on, it's a little more interesting when you've got a person right live in front of you. We've had our breakfast donut. We've seen the state capitol. And now we need lunch. And we've come here to Tumble 22, which is supposed to have the best chicken sandwich in all of Texas. Well, scratch that. I don't know, I guess they were maybe just having an off day because they're not busy at all. But we were sitting for about 10, 15 minutes and not a single person came to the table that even <laughs> greet us. And then on top of that, other people had arrived and sat down at other tables and those people got service within a couple of minutes of sitting down. So unfortunately, we just can't recommend this place because we didn't get to eat here. Yeah. Well, on to the next. So we have found another option for lunch. It's called P.T. Terry's. It's not P.T. Terry's, it's P. Terry's. All right, so we found another option for lunch. It's called P. Terry's. It's a burger chain here that's local to Austin. So we're gonna give it a go. It's fast food, burgers, fries. Apparently they're quite popular here. So we're gonna try it. I really like the outdoor seating area here. This is really cute. What do you think of the fries? They're really good. You can They actually have the potato skins on them. Oh, look at that. Real potato fries. Real potato fries. Well, that hit the spot. Very generous with the lettuce and tomato, but for me, I think they could have had a bit more sauce. I like the fries. <laughs> so the city's motto is keep Austin weird. Someone crocheted a cover for the light lamp. That's weird. Now I think we're ready. 
ready for our donut dessert, part two. Well, that ended up being a pretty busy day in Austin. I mean, it didn't seem like we walked that much, but geez, I have almost 17,000 steps. I have over 17,000 steps today. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm tired. My body feels like I did 17,000 steps. Yeah, got our exercise and saw a lot. It's good. It's a bit of a cloudy, misty morning here at McKinley Falls State Park. And we're going to be moving on today because like most state parks here in Texas, it's fully booked throughout the weekend. Well, good morning. Let me give you a little tour here of our campsite. So we are on site number nine, I think it is. Where's the marker? Yes, we're on site number nine. And as you can see, it's a really big pull through site like we could probably fit three of our trailers on this site. Um, with it, we also have water and electric hookups. These Texas state parks are pretty awesome for that. Um, costs about 20 bucks a night. And um, on the site as well, there's a tent pad and a picnic table. Say hi to Jay. And there's also a fire ring. They also have um, washrooms or restrooms, as you might call them, and showers, as well as garbage disposal. And there's somewhere around 84 sites and they're all pretty well spaced apart. It's amazing how big these sites are. These are bigger than any of the other parks we've been to, I think. Well, like in terms of how far apart they are. Location wise, we are not far from the airport, actually. We hear the occasional plane come in, um, but not too much and uh, it's just south of downtown. So we're about 30 minutes to downtown Austin. On the way out, they've got a dumping station, which also has a trash can, handy handy. They've got some old ruins here on the property. There must've been a ranch at one point. Oh, there's a red curtain on, two of them. They got a waterfall the fishing pond. There's a three mile loop that goes all the way around the park with lots of opportunities for bird watching. They got a nice big picnic area for day use, complete with fire pits and a water spigot. Barbecue pits, not fire pits. They have a really, really old tree. Old Baldy is the nickname of this giant bald cypress tree. It's more than 500 years old. There she is. All right, so water slowly um, eroded away the limestone here, it created like a little shelter that um, prehistoric people used to use as temporary shelters as they moved around seasonally. Oh, it's dripping though. Of course, limestone is really porous. And so water from up there will drip through the rock very slowly and get filtered out and come on through. And that is why there's this wetness here. Check it out. I can't even touch the ceiling. That's how high it is. So I'm fairly sure that it is a crime here not to wish someone to have a good day. <laughs> Even the door leaving the visitor center told us to have a great day. Is that actually true? Is it a crime? Let us know in the comments. All right, we're all packed up and now we're headed 40 minutes to Lockhart State Park. You ready, Benny? He's under. <laughs> yep, he's ready. You can see him just kind of moving around. All right, let's go. Oh, yeehaw! 
and today we're gonna go and try and find Texas most biggest, no, not most biggest. Oh, we're gonna have such a sugar high. Of the town of Red Rock, which is just north of Austin. It's not Red Rock, it's Round Rock. Oh. Okay. So Austin's motto is keep it weird. Is it? No. What is the motto? Make sure you don't miss the next video by liking, subscribing, and turning on notifications. Oh, and don't forget to check out our website and sign up for our weekly email blast. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you in the next one.